Today's video, how to install an end seal on a self-regulating style of heat cable. The tools you will need for this process are a heat gun, electric or propane, a tape measure, a tin snips or other cutting tool, a straight blade or electrician's knife, electrical tape, as well as a handbrake, or you can also use a needle nose pliers or bull nose pliers for uh, closing off the end seal. We'll start by removing two and a half inches of the outer jacket. This is done by lightly scoring the outer jacket so as not to cut through the ground braid. Then pull back the ground braid completely exposing the inner jacket. Remove an inch and a half of the inner core uh, so that you leave an inch to an inch and a quarter of the inner core behind. Locate the half inch heat shrink tube that is approximately one and a half to two inches long. Slide it over the end uh, of the core uh, up to the ground braid that's been pushed back. Using an electric or propane heat gun, uh, heat evenly all the way around on the inner end seal until hot melt uh, comes out of both ends. Using a handbrake, close off the end of the inner end seal uh, so holding it for a count of 20 seconds. Alternately, a needle nose pliers or bull nose pliers uh, may be used to close this off. A properly sealed inner core end seal should have hot melt squeezing out the end. Pull the ground braid back over the entire inner end seal assembly twist uh, the end of the ground braid, trim off any excess, and then fold uh, that back down alongside uh, the inner end seal assembly. Wrap the entire ground braid area with electrical tape. This will help prevent uh, sharp edges of the ground braid from poking through the outer end seal. Locate the three quarter inch heat shrink tubing uh, that is three inches long. Slide it over the entire end seal assembly, uh, leaving it to extend about a half inch to three quarters of an inch past the end of the inner assembly. Using your heat gun, heat the entire outer end seal evenly until it's shrunk tight and you can see hot melt protruding out of both ends. As with the inner end seal, use a handbrake or other suitable tool to seal the end of the end seal, the outer end seal, uh, so that the hot melt squeezes out, holding for approximately 20 seconds to allow for cooling. As indicated, a needle nose pliers can also be used, uh, switching it back and forth while you press it down, starting from the inside and working to the outside so that you see the hot melt protrude as well. Alternately, some power connection kits come with an end seal that has an outer end seal boot rather than open-ended, so that would only require heat shrinking it down until the hot belt comes out of the end along the uh, heat cable. Uh, no pinching is required to close off the other end. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.